Hey, how's it going everyone? I hope you all are having an amazing day. Now this video is going to be uh, a very special series, a once in a lifetime series. I believe I would only like to make this series like two parts, maybe three, but over the course of the next couple months, uh, I am going to be collecting every single kit from the Witch for Mercury line. At least that is what is out currently, because you know, they're always releasing new kits, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but now I have to say something, this video, didn't pop into my head until I already had a couple kits in hand. So uh, we are not starting off completely from scratch because, uh, you know, I have to build a couple to absolutely fall in love with this uh, line and that's what happened. So we are starting off with six kits. So this is what I already have. I know you're like, that's a lot. But out of everything, there are 27 kits in total. So when you count six, we still have like 21 to collect. So it's going to be a long video, it's going to be a long series, maybe not too long if I have something to say about it, but uh, this is what we're currently starting off with. We do have like the most expensive set, which is the full mechanics gun to Mirilo, which is pretty much a master grade. I don't know how much this is going to cost, but it's going to cost a lot of money, which is why, you know, I'm not going to buy everything at once because, you know, I don't have that kind of money on me. <laughs> I'm not no Mr. Beast or Bill Gates or... Whoever the fuck has a lot of money, uh, you know, I'm your average Joe, you know, I I have money, but not a lot. <laughs> so this is going to cost a lot of money, it's going to take a while to collect them all. But, uh, you know, I'm filming this after I've bought everything in this video, and, uh, you know, I've already spent a good chunk of change. And, uh, you know, I want to get this video out because, you know, I don't want it to sit for too long. And I also want just some content for you guys to enjoy while you guys wait for the other part. But, uh, yeah, so we're starting off with six kits out of 27. Uh, here are all the kits we are going to need for this video, or at least for this entire series, to um, finish it up and complete everything. Now, I'm not going to count the equipment uh, sets, like the $10, $15 equipment sets, but what I am going to count are the character model kits, pretty much. So, like the Suleta Mer Mercury and the other character. I can't remember her name, even though I just fucking watched... Witch for Mercury. I can't remember her name. Check with the white hair. Those are the only two kits. They're the most expensive besides these guys at 50 bucks a piece. So uh, we'll try to go for those at the very end. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. But according to YouTube, only 28% of you guys or 72% of you guys that watch these videos are not subscribed. So if you like this video and you'd like to see more, I'd very much appreciate it if you just scroll down and hit that like button. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next video. Uh, for now, uh, Past Plam is gonna take it from here. Enjoy! <laughs> this is our first stop called Hobby Center. They just opened their newest location, or at least they moved locations to this one. They've only been here for a couple days. And uh, this is my second or first time ever in this location, and it is very beautiful. But here, we are here for the Witch for Mercury kits. The first kit we are going to pick up is the Gundam Aerial, and uh, wow, they have a huge selection of kits I need. Obviously, I don't have the money for all of them, but I'm going to get a couple. Alrighty, so uh, I just got back from checking out at uh, the Hobby Center, and as you guys saw in the video, I got the Demi Trainer. This one's okay looking, but you know, I need it for my set, so, and for 20 bucks, who can complain, you know, and also, any Gundam's a good Gundam, you know what I'm saying? And we have the illustrious and very popular Gundam Aerial. And as you guys probably saw in the intro, I already have the Rebuild and the Master Grade. So this marks the last Aerial I need. So that's good to mark off, and at only $20, or 22 bucks technically, um, it was a good buy. I definitely, definitely don't regret it. But uh, yeah, this is one clips of many, uh, one day of many to come uh, for me trying to collect the entirety of the Witch for Mercury Gundam kits. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you in the next clip. Obviously, this video is not over, but uh, I'm clocking out for now. I'll see you guys in a couple days. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. Today is a new day. It has been a couple days since the last clip you've seen. But uh, today we're going to go to a local hobby shop uh, called Toys on Fire. Uh, I love that place. I've been going there ever since I was a little kid, you know, buying Pokemon cards and shit. But uh, we're going to go check out their Gunpla, see what they got, see if they have any Wish for Mercury kits. If they do, I'm going to buy a couple. 
uh, depending on what they have at least. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, just give me a thumbs up. I very much appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I know Gundam stuff doesn't do too well on this channel, but, uh, you know, it's a new hobby. I want to explore it. And I thought, you know, this would just be a fun little video because it is something I want to do. I'm not just doing it for content, even though, you know, the content is nice. You know, it's a, it's another reason to add on top of it. But, uh, yeah, I love the Witch for Mercury kits. I think they're gorgeous. So we're going to go pick up some more. The place closes at 6. It is quarter after 5. It's 5.15. So, I mean, we have plenty of time. It's taking me 10, 15 minutes to get there. So we have plenty of time to browse and buy whatever the fuck we want. Uh, you know, your boy came across a couple, some, some good money. So, you know, we have a little bit of spending cash that I'm willing to shell out a little bit. But, yeah, uh, I don't want to delay too long because... Uh, the place closes soon. It takes a while to get there. All right, I'll see you guys there. We've arrived. So this is the spot I've been going to ever since I was a kid. Love this place. Like I said a couple minutes ago, I've been going to this place ever since I was a kid. This place has changed like crazy over the years, but that doesn't matter. We are here for the kits here and now, and they actually do have a very good selection. They have a couple dozen kits I need, or at least just, you know, four or five I need. We are first going to get the Gundam Schwarzet. This is a absolutely beautiful kit as of filming this video, or at least doing the voiceover. I've already built it. It is an amazing set. It is very, very, very pretty. And, uh, you know, I, I had to have it. After looking at that little display, you know I had to have it. And, at, like, I think it was like $30. It's a good, it's a good buy. This was a kit I was heavily considering. This is another one I find absolutely beautiful, but uh, there were some other ones here that were more of a priority. Bag has been secured. Uh, I would show it in the car, but I think I'd rather just show you guys at home because, you know, I, I don't want to shoot so many shots in the car. I'd rather, you know, change a bit of scenery, even though I'm currently taking a shot filming in the car. I don't know how it works. But it's how it works. I'll catch you guys at home. <laughs> ah, the haul. They even talk about the haul. Back home. Also, I don't know if you guys saw a little snippet. I was not expecting this. I was not expecting to find this at my local Indigo. I went in there. You know, I have an addiction. I had to. But uh, I ended up coming home with this bad boy. Donned it on Volume 5. Now, as of filming this video, I believe it's two weeks early. So, uh, love to see that. So I walked out with this bad boy. I was looking for homunculus volume 3 and 4. Or the omnibus of 3 and 4. Couldn't find it. But, uh, walked out with this bad boy. So, just as good. But, for the Gundam. Picked up the Gundam Shorzet. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you guys can see that pretty well. They Both of these kits, I got two. Came out to like 70 something dollars. I had 30 bucks in cash. So, I only really ended up paying like $40 for these two kits. Which is nice. And I also picked up probably the prettiest one out of the entire Witch from Mercury line. Uh, besides one I'm going to talk about in a second. The Gundam Lif... What the fuck? Lifrith? Lifrith Year. Beautiful kit. The teal is absolutely stunning. I love this kit so much. Two kits, and I believe we are 10 or 11 out of 27. Uh, and I have one worry that I want to talk about with you guys, and that is one kit in specific. Now you'd think, oh, you have all the kits that people want, you know, the aerials, uh, the aerial rebuild, like all those. You have all those. Well, yes, but the one that is perpetually out of stock, at least in my area, is the Gundam Caliburn. Caliburn, however fuck you want to say it. The Caliburn. That's how I say it. That set is uh, very sought after, even more than the aerials and the Lifriths, you know, all those. So, uh, I bet you by the end of this channel, or by the end of this video, yeah, by the end of this series, that is going to be the only one I am missing. And I'm probably going to have to order it off Amazon for a little extra money. But, uh, you know, I want to get content for you guys. I also really want the Kelly Barn. So, but yeah, that's the end of this day. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next clip. I'll see you guys a couple days from now, maybe a week. Fucking knows. Uh, I don't know how long this video is going to take. But, uh, you know, I'm in for the ride and I'm fucking down for it. But yeah. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Two hours later. We are on a mission. Uh, I just called into my local hobby shop. Uh, a different hobby shop. Because I saw their Instagram post. You know, I just talked about me not having, or me probably not going to be able to find the Cali Barn. We'll, get, well, guess what? They just got in stock. Fucking Cali Barn. So guess what? We're going to get the Cali Barn. Yippee! We have arrived. <laughs> my favorite place on earth. No, it's probably still an indigo, but... Second or third place. 
This place is sick. Let's go get that Kelly bar. As you can probably tell, I am very excited to get my hands on this Kelly Barn. And this is the first time you're ever seeing my local hobby shop called Trinity Hobby. They're an amazing place. I go here all the time. They have some amazing kits. They do everything from Magic the Gathering to Gunpla, Pokemon cards, figures. But here, I am here for the Wish for Mercury kits. And they have plenty. And look what I found. Look at the saw hasn't sold out. I got my hands on a Cali Barn. They had plenty of other kits I wanted as well. Same with the regular Lifrith and some other kits I really wanted. But considering how much money I've already spent, I decided to save a little bit. Even though I put it on the pile, I ended up taking it off later. But they had plenty of kits I wanted. Some absolutely gorgeous kits. And, uh, you know, I think this will be... A place you see me come back to very often later in this series because they just have everything. I love this place to death. The staff are amazing, super friendly. I ended up talking to one of the guys at the register about their build days for Gundams. They do once a month Gundam build days. I am going to show up for one 120%. But uh, yeah, uh, just an amazing store I love so much that just has some amazing stuff. Terrible lighting, I understand, but... We got it. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, this is future plan talking that you guys just saw in the opening or the uh, intro of this video, you know, because uh, I forgot to take an intro and an outro, so I'm doing that now. But we now have a total of 11 kits. We are almost halfway there. Uh, we got a total of five kits in this video, which doesn't sound like much, but, uh, you know, this is how much money I spent in this video. Uh, well, we'll keep track and, uh, you know, like I said, it's going to cost a lot of money. And uh, it's going to be a while before I complete this set. But for now, I, I am very excited to get the rest of these kits. Uh, probably the poster child of this video is probably that Cali bar. And I talked about it a lot and getting my hands on it was fucking crazy. Uh, I didn't expect to get my hands on it. But uh, yeah, we are almost halfway there. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it and you'd like to see more, uh, please let me know in the comments or you can just like this video. Either or, I very much appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you on the next video. Peace, take care, love y'all.